All right, Coach, the regional's coming up this weekend. Uh, first one, obviously, with the inaugural year of the program. Uh, just give me your thoughts going into it. Um, I'm, I'm excited for it. Our guys are excited for it. We had a real tough week of training last week, tapering off this week to make sure they peak at the right time. And looking at it, um, seating uh, will come out a little bit later today. We got a seating meeting on Friday before the event, so I think – Hopefully some of our guys get, get the get the luck of the draw. Um, however, we still got to go out there and wrestle uh, to the best of our capabilities. I think a lot of our guys have a good chance to punch their ticket to nationals, if not come multiple time regional placers by punching their uh, ticket to place this year. So I think that for the most part, our guys are excited. Our guys are, are ready, are hungry, and we're ready to show the world what we got. Obviously the goal is to win, but aside from that being a first year program, um, what are some of your other goals you want your team to achieve this weekend? I just want them to go out there and see that all the hard work we put off or put in all year is going to pay uh, pay dividends. Maybe some of the matches that we lost earlier this year, we turn around and win them this weekend, just showing that the, the consistency of our work and the consistency of what we're putting in in the mat room is, is paying off. And obviously I'd love for all 10 guys to place. And if I can come back with 10 placers, that'd be incredible. But I think a good good goal right now is at least six, um, six placers for a first year program. And um, if, 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 the, if the stars align and, and the kids wrestle like I think we could, I think we can anywhere get in between two to, two to five qualifiers. So Gabe goes in ranked number one um, with that lot of pressure. What's just kind of the message to him as, as he goes into this to manage that? Just just maintain what we're doing. I mean, so far he's undefeated this year. We just got to make sure his weight's under control, which it is. We just got to make sure his mind's right, which it is. And he's he's been there. He's done that. He's he's a seasoned veteran, especially at this point in his career. We just got to make sure that he's still moving forward, looking for his attacks, and, and everyone's going to be gunning for him. I mean, it's... It's not easy going into the regionals undefeated, ranked number one in the country. You got every, you're going to get everyone's best. Everyone wants to knock you off. That way, they put you on the backside. You might so you have to have a little bit tougher time to qualify, or they put you on the backside, or they beat you in the final, so they can get a little bit higher seating for nationals. So we just got to make sure we go there and wrestle seven minutes, one uh, one match at a time, and take everyone seriously. But I think for the most part, if he just continues to plug forward and continues to do what he does, um, then there there shouldn't be any reason that we don't keep going into nationals undefeated and keep this train rolling. With being a first year program, you have a lot of freshmen competing, obviously. Um, you know, at other programs, freshmen may not get an opportunity to compete at regionals right. as, as much as you have here. So, how important is that for them and as they are building their careers to get that in their first year? It, it's awesome. I mean, they, they, get the, they get the regional experience right away. Um, hopefully, they punch their ticket in place, and hopefully, even better, they, they make it to nationals. But I think it's a very good uh, learning curve. Um, for them, they get the confidence under, the, under their belt early. That way, when they come back for their sophomore season next year, they know that they've been there. They know that they can do it. And now it's just the it's just the portion of putting in the work over the summer and putting in the work all through preseason and season next year. That way, when we get ourselves into the situation next year, it's not a it's not a oh, I need to beat this kid or that kid to so I can make it. It's I know I can do it, and we're just going to keep plugging forward, and I will make it next year type of mentality. All right, perfect, coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.